Hi, this is Pete, and in this video I'd like to demonstrate how to run wires or harnesses through cable ties, clips, supports, etc. And uh, both as you're creating the route and sometimes if you're like me, <laughs> you may forget to do it, uh, how to go back and add points after the fact. Thankfully it's a pretty easy process and I'll demonstrate it with a segment. So I'll go ahead and start my segment on a work point and then I'll just path it through. So the cool part is as you're designing you can simply just click on the work points. They don't even necessarily have to be full on uh, pins or anything like that and I can just say route through the shape. So oops, we can do that. Oh, come on out. There we go. We can come in here and place additional points etc etc but let's say we finish that and then if you're ever like me and you say oh rats I forgot to route it as I was going what you can do is you can simply grab a point right click on it and you can choose this redefine option when I redefine a point I can then ask it to pass through one of those other work points now it depends on how much of a stickler you want to be, but it's a 3D spline, so you may want to put a point and have it pass through both halves of a tie. So if we don't have a second point, we can click on the central spline to select it, then right click and we can add a point. And so we add a point somewhere along here, probably pretty close to where we want it. You can add as many points as you wish, of course, once you're done, you right click and hit finish. And then it's the same process, we just redefine the point. So it's a little bit easier if you do it as you're going, but if you're like me and you forget sometimes, it's totally okay to go back and add points and then redefine them to pass through the cable tie. So I hope you found this beneficial. If you have any questions or comments, of course, please let me know and have a blessed day.